Armstrong has a degree in electrical engineering. She works at a tech company in California. She's in the top 5% for achievement in this country. You'd think she'd be doing fine. Unfortunately, though, she lives in San Francisco, which means she has to take drastic measures to cope with the highest housing costs in the nation, some of the highest in the world. Her story is the focus of part four of our week-long series, American Dystopia. Nina Armstrong has lived in San Francisco since her childhood. Please don't fall off. But for the last four years, she's lived on a boat in the bay. This is my home. Why don't you buy a place on land? It's incredibly expensive. Even for a condo, is a million dollars. And this is a quarter million dollars. Housing in San Francisco is now so expensive that some residents are taking drastic measures to stay in the area. How often do you think about leaving? All the time. Every day quality of life in the San Francisco Bay Area is so bad that a full 44% of residents say they're, quote, likely to move in the next few years. They just say, I can't, I won't, I'm not going to put my family through this. It's a tragedy. You know, it really is. Skyrocketing costs and rising crime are driving middle class families out of the area. Drug addicts now outnumber high school students in the city of San Francisco. If your job weren't here, if your business weren't in the Bay Area, would you live here? Well, let me think. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, I absolutely want out. Since July of 2018, more than 40,000 Bay Area residents have fled, mostly to states like Texas and Idaho. The crime is just terrible. It's depressive. I, I, I don't go there anymore. But on the water, Armstrong gets away from it all. How often do you see syringes of homeless people in this country? None. Not at all. Just it's awesome. <laughs> It wasn't an act of God that turned San Francisco into a dystopia. It was an act of God that turned it into one of the prettiest cities in the world. Now, the city was destroyed because individuals enacted and preserved disastrous policies because they're ideologues. One of them is the city's new DA, Chesa Boudin. He says that San Francisco has a problem. It's only that its radical policies don't go far enough. He's the focus, the finale to American dystopia tomorrow night. Don't miss it.